Hey. Um, I'm back. It's been a while. Um, the only reason I say it's been a while is I've moved. As you can see, different backdrop, nicer flat. Sorry if it's a bit messy. I am. I've like moved like a week or two ago, so everything's still getting into place, all that stuff, all the boring stuff you have to do when you're moving, aka literally move all your belongings from one place to another. <laughs> I would describe that as stressful, but I'm back. I finally was like, okay, time to sit down and do a video. I feel like it's just a lot nicer to do videos here. I don't know why, I've been really excited. Like the lighting, very good. Also, just before I start, um, these right here, kind of look like hackies. <laughs> They're midgy bites, or as Americans were like, mosquito bites. Like I was sitting in the park and I am just like genuinely covered in them now. It's horrible. So if you see me like itching my gross like spot things, it's midgy bites, okay? Just a warning, but it's like the worst thing ever. But yeah, today I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup um, updated. I haven't done this in a long time um, and my everyday makeup constantly changes. It's usually roughly the same look. You know, products change, the techniques change, when you find something better, you start doing that, blah, blah, blah. And I just wanted to share that with you, basically. I'm just gonna start with skincare because I feel like that is more important than a lot of people think when you're doing your makeup. Like no one really includes their skincare in their makeup routine. Also, oh my God, sorry about my hair. <laughs> you know when you sleep with wet hair and it just goes a bit crazy, yeah, same. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna do my skincare really quickly. Um, basically what I use in the daytime, I have a different one for nighttime, but Super Glow by Glossy, the vitamin C serum. And I just put, pop that everywhere. Mix that in. Mix. Blend, I don't know. I usually use the Evolve Organic Beauty Serum, but I'm... Oh, falls out of that, but apparently not. It's a bit too much, I suppose. Don't worry, my hands are clean, just before anyone shouts at me. Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Serum. I just put that everywhere as well. I use all the brightening ones during the day, I'd say. I still use this one at night, but I don't use the vitamin C one. Because apparently it's vitamin C in the morning and something else at night. Glycolic acid or something, I don't know. <laughs> this Lil Prep Cactus Slide Dry Serum by Frick. And I just put a little bit of this on. I feel like a lot goes a long way with this. I mean, a little goes a long way. Not a lot. <laughs> and then I just take um, the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. And I put that under my eyes, because as you can see, <laughs> we're looking a bit tired. And this has apparently brightened your eyes. I say apparently because, generally speaking, I don't see any serums I use. <clears throat> any serums I use, I'm like, did that actually do anything? <laughs> And I just like hope and pray that it's doing something that I can't see. So Jelly Eye Cream by Freck. Again, I don't know if eye cream actually works, but everyone's always like, eye cream's so important, you have to use it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, fair enough. I'm try anything to get rid of these dark circles. Okay, um, then just for a moisturizer, last step of the skincare, Vegan Milk Moisturizer by Milk Makeup. Still my favourite moisturiser, till the day I die. And I just get that on, because I've got nails right now, I just get it on the, this side so that it doesn't get like stuck under my nail. Just put that in. She probably do it a little bit more gentle than me, but I really just stretch my face in like every direction. That's exactly what you're told not to do when it comes to skincare. <laughs> okay, and on my neck as well. So yeah. Also, before I start, look at this shirt I got off Depot. That's crazy, isn't it? Wait. Sorry, my zip was down. I love these jeans. They're like my favourite jeans ever. And they're from IMG. But like I'll just be doing like going about my daily life and they'll just zip all the way down. And there's nothing to like stop that happening. But yeah, this is the shirt. It's just, I think it's from the brand Save the Queen. I don't know if it's like a vintage brand or something, but it's very nice, very cute. Fun sleeves, okay. <laughs> Okay, so for primer, I'm just gonna use uh, this like milk makeup. It's like a mini version, but you obviously get the big ones. The grip primer, and I've, this is one of my favorite primers as well. And I just put that everywhere. 
I don't think primers are that necessary to be honest I don't see much of a difference when you use a primer and when you don't but it's like for security like peace of mind <laughs> okay what I'm gonna use is I've been using this recently I've actually been really liking it this is by Morphe too and it's the it came with the PR package you got with Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio they did like a collab with Morphe um, and I was like so excited to get that um, PR package but it's like very much like kind of glossy vibes but like a little bit better so I use one that's slightly tanner than my real skin because it just gives you like a kind of natural glow that looks like a lot but it's very um, sheer so you're good see it doesn't like the coverage isn't amazing but it kind of makes you just look a bit healthier <laughs> Which is what I need, because look at me. Okay, so for concealer, I use this in like every makeup tutorial, but it's the Fenty 150 Concealer Pro Filter. It's running out actually, which isn't ideal, but just use that under my eyeballs. Like that. And then that whole TikTok trick where you go up like this makes you look more snatched, I guess. And then I go a little bit on my nose, a little bit here some here and then here I do a little bit here sometimes and just connect it to your cool so I'm just going to use this milk makeup matte bronze stick to contour so I'm just going to go up here I think I prefer cream contour it's a little bit easier to work with I'm just going to do that and that for now. I'm going to really bring it in. I'm going to kind of bring it into my eyelids like that. Like so. Because I really do need to have some sort of glow about me. Because I am looking very pale lately. Don't let the water run dry Cause there's no good in goodbye Before we run out of time Don't let the water run dry yeah, we lay next to each other, but we're miles away. There's no way to the words we say. So tell me, how do we get here? How do we get here? Do you see what I'm saying when you're looking at me? Have all the reason. Okay, so now that's all blended, um, I'm going to take the Lori, Lola, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to. What's a beauty blender? apply that under my eyes like this almost like bacon but only right under my eyes and I'm also gonna do the same to my eyelids because my eyelids crease so much that I always bake them just go over the contour because I go in with powder contour as well and I don't want that horrible like the contour catching if that makes sense the powder contour getting patchy because it's getting stuck to the contour Too Faced by Too Faced and I'm going to use the light shade oh there I am I'm going to use the light shade here and just kind of go over some of the parts I want to be a bit more chiselled I'm going to take this kind of flat fluffy brush 
and do that so it's kind of like it's not a really precise contour but it just kind of thins your nose out a bit I guess like that as I said in my last video this tastes so good <laughs> and I just take it here as well okay so on to blush uh, this came in the Charlie D'Amelio Dixie D'Amelio uh, collab with Morphe as well. It's like these little cream blushes. I just apply that with a beauty blender like right here It's kind of hard to work when you've already powdered your face, but I hate putting powder over cream blush because it like Completely washes it out. So I just kind of have to work this and I take a little bit on my nose right here I've said that before in a video. This kind of makes you look naturally sun-kissed because that's where the sun hits you Just on the bridge of the nose rather than the bottom of the nose but that looks cute as well, don't get me wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. And mine is in medium brown. And then the Glossy Flick Brow. As well as the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. With a little flat brush. So let me just zoom you in. Time lapse this for you. This isn't going well. <laughs> so that's kind of what I do for eyebrows now. It looks absolutely horrible right now. But I'm just going to quickly uh, carve them out with some concealer. Okay, that's kind of the eyebrows done. I might go back and clean them up a bit again because they're a bit like junky, but that's them for now. Go do some freckles. Also, like, <laughs> I bought this like rainbow light. Wait, let me see if you can see it. If I... That little thing up there. Um, <laughs> unnecessary to show you. But like when the light hits it, it's like solar powered, so rainbow. Like little rainbows go everywhere, so if you see a rainbow go across my face, that's why. It's so cool though. Best purchase of my whole life. But I'm just going to do freckles now. Um, I'm going to use the same flat brush I used for my brows. And this is the same Charlie D'Amelio foundation by Morphe thingy. I don't actually know if this is the Charlie D'Amelio collab or this is just Morphe, but they were like on the front cover. This is the same foundation, just in a much darker shade. And they sent me all the shades so I'm probably gonna do a giveaway because obviously there's like two that's my shade <laughs> um, and I've just got a lot of foundations that'll go away so look out for a giveaway but I've just been using this shade to do fake freckles so I just take a tiny bit and then I'll do that and then blend it out like that pretty simple I'd say my freckles haven't really came out this summer because you know Covid and that couldn't really go on holiday or do much sunny related activities <laughs> so we've got to make the fake it till you make it okay, that's basically just the freckles um, now I'm going to move on to eyeliner so I'm using the Hawes Labs Hawes, uh, Lady Gaga um, makeup brand, Hawes Labs I think I'm saying it right but this is their eyeliner, it's probably my favourite eyeliner ever it just does the job like nothing's difficult with it I'm just going to zoom in and time lapse this basically because I'm not wearing fake eyelashes I'm not going to do anything really thick because that's when I don't like the look of non-fake eyelashes when my eyeliner is so thick so I'm going to do quite a thin line yeah okay <laughs> And then I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and I'm just going to use the focus. <laughs> I'm just going to use the brow pomade to do um, little bits in the corner of my eyes just to extend my eyes a little bit. Just 
like that and then I'm going to take the same brow pomade and I'm just going to kind of go under my eye like this. That just makes the eyes a bit more doughy, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly do mascara. I'm just going to curl my lashes then use the Lash Freak by Urban Decay. It's, I think it's my favourite mascara right now. I just make sure eyelashes look way long. I don't think I've got that long eyelashes, so I need everything I can get, really. Okay, so that's the lashes done. Now I'm just going to take some focus, thank you. Um, highlighter, and this is by Kaleidos. Again, um, this is called Ray Rider. It's kind of just like a champagne colour. It's quite like a safe highlighter but they do so many that it's like oh throat just cracked there I'm going through puberty apparently but they do a lot of like fun highlighters like I've got one that's like green sparkles use it all the time but this is a bit more conservative so I'm just going to apply that on all the places that you apply highlighter uh oh getting a bit confident there so it's like you can't really go wrong with this type of highlighter I'll just put it here as well. Now just take a smaller brush on the nose. And then up here as well. Now do a little bit here. Okay. Glowing, glowing. This is the Gucci Beauty and uh, lipstick, and this is in Tacey, Tacey Hazel. Um, you don't need to use Gucci Beauty, I know it's like, it can be expensive for some people but it's oh there's a hair on it, it's not very Gucci of me. Um, you don't have to use Gucci Beauty obviously but you can, any colour like this, just like a kind of pinky browny nude works. So, um, I'm just going to take you in a little bit closer, there we go. And so I'm just going to take a flat brush, this flat brush is honestly like, I use this on everything in my makeup. Like this is what I carve my brows out with. This is what I do everything with. And I think I got it like years ago at Tiger. You know, like the cute little like um, shop where you get little knickknacks. Yeah, <laughs> they were selling makeup brushes at one point. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna overlay my lips with this color. Oh, be good if I actually showed you and didn't pop out of shot. I can hear really intense ringing, I don't know if it's like my brain or the construction site, but it's kind of freaking me out. I'll just continue. Okay, so now that I've kind of done that, I'm going to go back in my little lipstick, but first I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Lipstick in C-R-E-A-M cream. And it looks bashed up because it is. I left it in my handbag and I stuck my nail right in it. But yeah, it's kind of like, like a nudie pinky colour and I just go on the inside with this. And then I just go back in with the brownie colour and do the kind of the same just to really intensify it. Now I'm just going to do the controversial thing I always do that freaks the boy out. I'm going to take a translucent powder. Also sorry about like the noise pollution. There's literally construction sites all around me. This is the downside to this flat. But I'm just going to take this powder and... Apply it everywhere and this actually... Especially if you're overlining your lips it really just you know, creates the effect that these are my real lips, I did not overline them. What? Mm. Now I'm just going to quickly set my face. So that's kind of it, I'd say. 
out. Let me just straighten you up. Just bring you in. So it's kind of natural in its own way. <laughs> that means it's not natural, basically. Um, it's just something, I know this took obviously longer than 20 minutes right now, but I'm explaining myself. But this usually takes me like, yeah, about 20 minutes. So if you, you're in a rush, this is perfect. And it actually looks quite glam. So you can kind of trick people into thinking it took longer. You know? You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thanks to Chelsea Collins for letting me use her backing track. Amazing song. Don't forget to stream, download it, and watch the music video. Um, yeah. If you want to see anything else from me, let me know. I'm happy to hear your suggestions. Uh, sometimes I need them because... Your girl's getting a little bit less creative. Also quickly, look at the wall right now. Rainbow, look at that, it's a rainbow. Okay, enough of that. Um, I've got a couple videos lined up, so I'm gonna do a rat introduction video about my rats. This is something that not a lot of people will be interested in, but I know the handful of you that are I appreciate very much. You're my people. And then I'm gonna do some lifestyle stuff and fashion, all that fun stuff that no one asked for. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial. Just a little, just in case you forgot what the makeup looked like there. Um, I'll see you again soon. Expect more videos. I know I always say that, but I actually do expect more videos because Everything's kind of lined up perfectly now. There's nothing stopping me. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So I'm just shouting myself out now. <laughs> I usually wouldn't do this, but and I'm losing followers on Instagram rapid after cutting like this mullet hairstyle. Like people are not happy. So follow me on Instagram. Also my TikTok, this is where that's where I shine, like the real me really pops off on TikTok. And my Twitter as well. Okay, I'll see you all later. Um have a nice day or night or week. Um bye.